Hey, welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now today what I want to do is spend less than five minutes to show you a really cool technique for lightening faces. You can also use this for um, doing targeted exposure correction, but in general this works really well for lightening faces and often that is all you need to enhance a photograph. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in our first example, I'm going to use a uh, photograph of a bride. Now, back in the day, I was willing to shoot wedding photography. However, what I came to find out is that um, both clients are very demanding and the stakes are very high with wedding photography. And quite frankly, I love photography and I didn't want to fall out of love with photography. So I no longer shoot weddings um, with some very rare exceptions. Um, so anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's just use this as an example for the first part of this technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and select the lasso tool which is located right here and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a selection around the um, underexposed area of her face which is this side in fact I'm going to do a little bit of the nose even and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my selection and I'm going to go down to feather and I'm going to select 15 as my feather radius now the radius that you want is just going to be dependent upon the resolution of your photograph the higher the resolution the more um, feather radius you can have. And the lower, obviously, is the lower radius that you can have. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 15. And what that does is it feathers the selection so that it doesn't have any harsh edges. Next, what I want to do is go over to the Curves Adjustment layer. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. And you can see the Curves line is right here, and it's in the neutral position. And what I'm going to do is just make a selection somewhere and then go north with it. And what that's going to do is lighten her face. You can see right away it lightened this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and undo or close that. You can see the difference when I turn it on and off. And if that's too much for you, all you do is go up to your opacity slider and dial it in to what you want. So in this case, I'd probably go down to about 75. Yeah, that's about what I want. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to deal with a little bit of overexposure in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and make a selection here. And um, I'm going to do the same thing where I right click and go feather and then um, 15 for this photograph and then I'm going to go back down and do a new curves adjustment layer because this one's going to be to underexpose a bit I'm going to um, instead of dragging the uh, line north this time I'm going to go south and I'm going to just uh, darken it just a tad and let me show you the difference so that's a nice adjustment and again um, I would dial the opacity down to about what I wanted and in this case I'm thinking 65 is probably about right yeah, it's just, just subtle enough not to be noticeable, but to um, enhance the photograph. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This one's going to be probably more common. Um, and this is the type of photography that I like to do uh, more these days, of course. And uh, anytime that one of these projects comes my way, I definitely jump at it. I find it uh, is much uh, better for my own mental health than wedding photography. And you can imagine why. So in this example, um, what I have here is um, her body is lit really well, but what I didn't get was her face. And um, so what I want to do is go ahead and lighten the face a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a pretty liberal selection around her face without hitting the uh, pillow because that's so light. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I right click and go feather. Uh, 15 for this one is fine as well. And then again, back down to a curves adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to go north and you can see how well it works for this type of photograph. Um, that is just the exact type of adjustment I would want to make here. In fact, I'm going to leave it exactly as is. So again, take this technique, apply it to some of your own photography. And until the next tutorial, happy photoshopping.